today's spooky video, we are back on Nuke's Top 5. And his tagline is, Top 10 Scary Videos. Hence, therefore, avoiding the fact that he's called Nuke's Top 5. I say this every single time. Let's get into the video. Okay, I do like these Nukes Top 5 videos. I think they're very, very cool, and these sometimes make me jump. <laughs> Quite a lot of the time they make me jump. <laughs> right, okay, 10 scary videos from Nukes Top 5. Now. The newest addition to my collection. Dolls. I just bought it from the antique store. Doll collector Linda Deary from Murfreesboro, Tennessee was browsing Facebook Marketplace dolls. one day when she saw an ad placed by a woman who was giving away four antique dolls for free. I wonder why that is. Look at the kip on that. Look at it. Why would you have that in your house? Right, let's continue. Linda drove to the woman's house and picked up the dolls. When she got back home, she posed the dolls on her bed and began taking pictures. <laughs> one of them's Chucky. One of them is Chucky, right? What does that say to you? <laughs> the funny thing is that Chucky's not the scariest one there. When she got back home, she posed the dolls on her bed and began taking pictures. Wow. But then something very odd happened. The dolls seemed to move right before her eyes. Linda grabbed her phone and started filming. Mm -hmm. Is it not just overbalanced? Soon well, after this, Linda back. and her partner began to experience strange and unexplained activity. Personal items around their house would go missing, and objects seemed to move on their own or get knocked off shelves. Do you know when it started moving like like to one side? I thought, well, it just might be overbalanced or not sat right. But then it come back. Go missing, and objects seem to move on their own or get knocked off shelves. One day, Linda gets a bad haircut from a local hairdresser. <laughs> so she decides to make a video showing off her terrible new hairdo. <laughs> but what happens next okay. is truly Look bizarre. Hi. <laughs> a lot of people want to see what my hair looks like. So I want to see the sides. <coughs> like my bangs, I've had to like fix my bangs myself. Oh wow. But this is what it looks like if I don't straighten pieces of it. And like, <clears throat> it's just a whole mess. So is your room. Dang, dang it. <laughs> that scared me. Okay. Come on, what the f Didn't scare me as much as your hair, hair cut did love. I mean, but I mean, Cameras can just fall down. Come on. That scared me. Okay. Come on. What the f was that? Did you see that? Like, it ran. Oh, no. Absolutely not. No. At first, Linda believes that all the frightening activity in her house is likely caused by the playful ghost of a little girl who might be attached to her new dolls. She even finds the whole idea kind of funny and jokes about it online. One day, Linda sets up a silly video for her social media where she puts okay. a Chucky doll inside a cupboard, waiting for it to fall out. <laughs> but this is when things start to take a terrifying turn. Think is about to be a mess. Let's see. It was Chucky. His hair's moving. What the f Wanna play? <laughs> okay, I didn't play this one. Chucky's just supposed to pop out, but his hair is moving. Holy oh, shit. Nothing just wind okay. or something. Okay, I really do. Oh no. Move that. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Let's see that again. I want to see if, if there's a flaw in it. Okay, I really do. Oh, no. Move that. Oh, my God. Okay. 
<laughs> okay, joke's over. Joke's over. Oh, it's got, she's got thingy there. Okay, joke's over. There, look, on the floor, she collects Chucky dolls. That's the, that's Bride of Chucky, that. And she's, she's, she's worried. I'm pointing at the screen here and you can't see my finger. It's there. I'm pointing at the screen and still talking. That's Bride of Chucky, and it's no wonder she's 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 inviting this sort of stuff into her house. It's quite creepy though, wasn't it? Over. Joke's over. The video goes very wrong as the doll's hair begins to move for no reason. And then Chucky's head seems to suddenly spin around all on its own. And things just get even weirder from here. One night Linda and her partner are asleep in bed when they are woken up by the sound of loud banging from their front room. <laughs> the bangs are so loud and intense that the couple believes that someone is trying to break into their house. They immediately... <laughs> They'll be breaking back out again when they get chased by Chucky and his bride, won't they? You know what I mean? The couple believes that someone is trying to break into their house. They immediately call the police. So, officers arrive on scene and review footage recorded by the couple's front door ring camera. This is our house. Yeah, let's look at it for a bit. Yeah, dude. Something's in our fucking window right now, bro. Stop being hyper, please. It's scaring me. Ready? Yeah. Something's in our fucking window. Yeah. It's like Toy Story. <laughs> As the motion triggered video starts, it looks like someone or something has pulled the couple's front curtain open. But even creepier, whoever this person is, they appear to be inside the house. Chuck it. And whoever it is seems to slam the curtain closed again with a bang. Linda swears that she and her partner stayed inside the bedroom and didn't move until police arrived. The officers checked the house inside and out but there was no one else there. So now, Linda has had enough of the creepy dolls. Recently, <laughs> she attempted to get rid of the dolls at a yard sale. And the next day, they came back and they were in her house. We're gonna, with pitchforks, we're gonna kill you, sort of thing. Creepy dolls. Recently, she attempted to get rid of the dolls at a yard sale. But in a darkly funny twist, Linda says that someone actually stole three of the four <laughs> dolls from her yard sale. To the thief that stole these dolls out of the yard sale at You're welcome to him. You're going to regret it. They're haunted. <laughs> Had you waited till sunlight, you would have seen the sign that was under them that said haunted dolls. If you have children, please don't buy. So, good luck to whoever took those dolls because it seems like they're going to need it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I'm not being funny. Like, you, know, you put them on a yard sale because you want to get rid of them, and then write, "Haunted dolls do not buy if you have kids." I mean, he's trying to sell them or what? I mean, why don't you just throw, take them down? Why, why are you trying to get rid of them into somebody else's house? Why don't you stick them in a bin bag? Throw them in the garbage truck. Goodbye. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, okay. I'm not I'm not sure what to make of that one. Right, hello doggy. We have a dog one next. Hello, doggy. Reddit user Love is Evil from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee is driving to work at around six in the morning. Right. He receives a text message from his frantic wife who asks him to check their surveillance camera footage on his phone. When he watches the video back, it chills him to his core. Okay. Okay. An unexplained spooky little voice, voice can be heard way. whispering, Hello. And the family dog just goes nuts. Well, 
Might have been Lionel Richie. The Reddit user says that other than his wife and dog, no one else was home at the time of the recording. He says that they have never experienced anything like mm. this and they don't know what to make of the creepy little voice. So did the couple's dog get scared by a paranormal entity? Or just what is that creepy little voice? Old I mean, I could reenact that. Easy. I've lived, I've, I've the video recording all night and some, the dog hears something outside, say. Starts barking at nothing. And then I could go to my video editor and go, Hello. And then put the sound in just before the dog barks. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm not sure on that one. I'm not having it, to be honest. <laughs> Next one's called Old School. Old School. Cathedral High School in Los Angeles, California was built over what was once a cemetery. The school even honors its dark history by featuring real pieces of old recovered headstones on its walls inside the school. Cemetery. So man. late one Friday night, a janitor is working the night shift at Cathedral High School when something happens that makes his blood run cold. All right, I um, I usually don't record while I'm on the job, um, but this is freaking me out. It's sort of unreal. I'm here at work. I'm here in the janitor's closet. Uh, yeah, let me just show you guys. Have we seen this before? Is this the balloon? Alright. I think this is a balloon. Um... Just so... I don't know, let you guys know this school was built on a cemetery. Um, I think we have. I don't know if that helps my situation or not, but... Previous janitors that have worked here have tried to tell everyone that you know, every night something happens, some some spooky, I don't know, paranormal or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I didn't really believe him until tonight. Um, I was in here cleaning up after some students had thrown a party. But um, what's been freaking me out is this one right here. Uh, no matter where I'm at in the classroom or what I decide to do, it just follows me. Hi, and Georgie. Do your thing, you stupid balloon. Pop it! I got you on camera now, so let's just, uh... Mmm, see? That right there. Pop it! Um... Okay. It does look good though. See, no, no, no. <laughs> it just, it just follows me no matter what. Yeah, okay, right. The balloon's following him. This balloon's freaking him out because it's following him. He took a little bit of a walk from the janitor's cupboard to where that balloon was situated, right? Why didn't it follow him initially into the janitor's cupboard? He could have this on a fishing wire. Just like pulling it. Not by the, not by the string, though. It could be attached to the balloon. Remember that, the no, I can't. I'm off. The janitor is completely alone when a <laughs> red balloon that. inside one of the classrooms seems to start moving on its own and follows him out into the hallway. 
Suddenly, he spots a dark shadow quickly darting yeah. past the window on the other end of the school. That was quick as now, well. Now, previous janitors at the school claim to have witnessed multiple incidents of paranormal activity. So when the custodian captures this spooky evidence, he shows it to the building's security guard. It's a... You see how it's falling out the hey. classroom too? <laughs> look at the look at the back though. Look at look at the class with the light. What the f I'm not crazy. I'm not crazy. You saw that, right? Nah. Nah. <laughs> nah. He's, he's not it. Yeah, no. How long have you been working security here, man? How long have you been working security? I, man, I mean, I've been here a few months, but bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that. And I ain't never taken no night shifts now. You've shown me that footage. Security. Man, I, man, I mean, I've been here a few months, but bro, I ain't never seen nothing like that. As you can see, even the security guard is a bit freaked. He's got a new so job did the janitor though. have an encounter with the spirits who are buried in the ground below the school? Let me know what you... What would I do if I was in this situation, right? Firstly, I would have popped that balloon. Because if it's popped, it can't follow you, right? If it has seen the thing that was flying across the window at the back dead quick... You'd have seen me run out of that school without locking up and then throwing him a resignation in the next day saying I'm getting a new job. <laughs> That's exactly what I would have done. And I wouldn't I wouldn't be stupid enough to have a night shift job in a school that's built on a cemetery. Right. You're just asking for trouble. Just like I wouldn't have dolls in the first one. Or with the spirits who are buried in the ground below the school? Let me know what you think. We need scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at yes. gmail.com. Watcher at the window. Watcher at the window. A man is up late. Do you know what? I think that, I think when we send that balloon one, I think it was Bizarre Bub. And I think this one is a Bizarre Bub one as well. Because this high up window looks very, very um, familiar. One night when he hears strange sounds it's a red coming one from because his home of, office, it's a red one because of he grabs it. his phone, and what he records is truly shocking. Oh, this is a different one, no. You haven't seen this one. It's like Samara from The Ring. Ooh, have you ever seen that film? Um, what's it called? Light is it lights out, and they turn the light on and it disappears, and they turn the light back on and it's closer, and it's like a girl, like the one off the ring, Samara off the ring. It, that's what that reminded me of then. Hang on a minute. That's a cat! It's a cat! Look at the eyes reflecting back. That's what cat's eyes do. Mind you, how did it get up there? <laughs> now, the guy was freaked out as whatever is outside the window seems to disappear when the lights are turned on. And then comes back but with eyes. Look closer. Just Cats. outside the window, we can see that there is still a strange pair of glowing eyes staring back Bloody at the cats. man inside. Now, online viewers said that this video could easily be explained as a person or an animal standing just outside the window. So, to prove them wrong, the man films the office window again. Yeah, but the shadow's not there now. Turns out the office is actually two stories up, with no way for anything to climb up or sit outside the window. So who or what is this? I still can't let it cat. Hang on a minute. The cross. Hang on a minute. Is this? So who 
or what is this? Right. There's video editing going on there because there's a little jerk. That's so two videos spliced together. Or what is this? There. You decide. That's video editing. The crossing. Somewhere in the Middle East, a guy is riding his motorcycle down a lonely mountain road in the middle of nowhere. Right. He encounters something that he just can't explain. That's creepy as it is, isn't it? Hey, I see. Is that what I'm looking at that jumps over the side then? Did you see it? Some small thing seems to walk across the road right in front of him. Now, that's not so weird. But whatever this is, it seems to be walking on two legs and then it seems to raise itself up and jumps right over the roadside guardrail. Could be a monkey or something like that. The motorcycle rider is shocked. He rechecks his video footage when he gets home, but he has no idea what he encountered on that isolated mountain road. It looks like it looks it's, like a humanoid or a, some sort of monkey. Do you know what I mean? It could be it could be someone just crossing the road who's like like a back a burglar or something who's probably robbed an house and he's legging it. Disturbing <laughs> results. YouTuber Tyler Blanchard is very much a skeptic when it comes to ghosts and the paranormal. Like me. Tyler believes that the reason ghost hunters usually find so-called paranormal evidence in haunted places is simply coincidence, coupled with the fact that they expect to experience paranormal activity. Are ghosts real Maybe. or just scared people imagining things? So Tyler cooks up a very interesting experiment. Okay. He invites his friends to go on a ghost hunt. However, he splits them into two groups. One group, including Tyler, goes to a house that many paranormal investigators claim to be extremely haunted, the Brackenford Manor in Lake Arrowhead, California. Okay. But the second group, they are just sent to a randomly chosen Airbnb. This house has never had a reported death in it. No guests have ever recorded any paranormal activity. <laughs> it's just a normal house. Now, well, they got the they got the best end of the stick there, then, didn't it? You know what I mean? Go to a house that's got no, well, yeah, well. You're not going to be scared about something that's not been any sort of history behind it, is there? No, I mean. no guests have ever recorded any paranormal activity. It's just a normal house. Now, this house is not haunted in any way. However, the second group is told a fake ghost story about how this typical random Airbnb house is ah, extremely haunted and was the site of some grisly and terrible events. Protest. None of which is true. So in the 70s, okay. there was a family that lived in this house. A burglar basically broke in and the family, and it's rumored that they still are here. Oh man, not this ghost stuff, man. <laughs> so the experiment begins, and the ghost hunt starts at the real haunted house, the Brackenfern Manor. Okay. Now, Tyler isn't expecting anything to happen or to find any kind of paranormal activity. So when he and his group start investigating, they're mostly cracking jokes and playing pranks. He's asleep. Tyler, I know you guys are hiding somewhere. He's talking to himself to try to keep himself from getting really scared. <laughs> Funny prank. Let's hand it now, am I right? Please. Who needs enemies? You got friends like that. I heard a noise over here. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> for the love of God. Ah! <laughs> I lied, for a good bit I was scared. <laughs> but things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit spookier. Okay. The guys head to the house's cellar and use a twist flashlight and an ultrasound motion sensor music box that plays a tune whenever it detects movement. Okay. That was calibrated. Is it any, is it any uh, coincidence that it's shaped like a coffin? That look at it, shaped like a coffin. Music <laughs> box that plays a tune whenever it detects movement. Now it's calibrated. Everything that happens from this point is something going in front of it. If you're here, can you can you make the music play? Like? Start. Okay, that's good. Um, ring the music box if it's if it's okay if we can sit down. Thank you. 
this is Donna Allen. Let's go. That is phenomenal. Honestly, this seemed so unexplainable, but not as unexplainable as the not haunted house. Is anybody here with us? Alright, literally nothing was happening there. Uh, this, this is weird. If you are here, would you mind turning on one of the flashlights? Or the motion sensor, whichever you prefer. You prefer the motion sensor? Oh, oh both, I guess. Light. That's crazy. Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Unless there's something in front of Wow. Yeah. And even after but they all sat there laughing about it. Are they controlling these with remote controls? Do you think? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, that just doesn't happen. Unless there's something in front of Wow. And even after repositioning, it still went off. Well, thank you very much for having us. We're gonna we're gonna go upstairs to this beautiful home. Please stay stay here. It's been awesome hanging out with you. Uh, but we're gonna pack up our things and and go. Thank you for this experience. I wonder if the equipment is also going on and off at the other house, or if it's just going off here. Because if it's just going off here, that is pretty sus. Real good. Yeah, like that's crazy. I mean, that box hasn't worked at all ever, 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 ever. No. Until we get here. We calibrated it three times in there, and it worked every time. There's some presence moving in front of that machine. Now, Tyler gave both groups the exact same type of flashlight and motion-activated music box, but only the ones at the haunted Brackenfern Manor are activating. The instruments at the haunted house actually seem to respond to their questions, while over at the Airbnb, the same instruments don't do anything. Could easily be staged though, couldn't it? Come on. They could set the batteries out of that one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, Chris, they didn't turn them on, something like that. And the night just gets weirder. Okay. I walk past this door right here, and there's something closed in there. Which one? Let's put the box in there. What? Wait, that could have, that could have, that could have been something, right? That could have been the air, the wind. Calibrated. Oh, ah, okay. Yep. Bingo, baby. It's in the corner. I'm not doing this anymore. He's going home. All right, well, that's kind of all, all I needed. A window in one of the rooms moves by itself, and the music box activates as if someone is moving by that window. So, in a final attempt to disprove the creepy results from the music box, they try one more test. Okay. We're doing some late night research. Leave it silent for exactly 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. <laughs> All right, done with the Morse. Thanks for the answer. <laughs> Holy sh Oh, wow. Why you got tears in your eyes as a big boy? It's a beautiful moment, bro. I believe in ghosts. That is... I question the authenticity of that machine. I really do. You could easily have that on a remote control, couldn't you? Someone had hands under the table or something pressing it. Don't know. In your eyes Don't know boy. enough about the machines. It's a beautiful moment, bro. I believe in ghosts. That is... That is beautiful. <laughs> they test the music box, they recalibrate it over and over, and they even change its location but it still activates again and again, almost as if something in the house is eager to communicate with them. What makes it even creepier is that the group in the fake haunted Airbnb gets no response all night, and they don't really experience anything unexplainable. So did Tyler's attempt to prove that ghosts don't exist he is trying actually not to laugh, prove he that is. they do? Well, you decide. You can watch this full scary experiment over on the YouTube channel, mm. Tyler Blanchard. Very. I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about the ghost hunting machines. I feel that you could make anything remote controlled or infrared and press it at will. I mean, I could change them to look them lights at the drop of a button. You know what I mean? Or flying nightmare. It's early in the morning, right before sunrise, when Lisa Nathan from Essex, England, opens the back door to let out the family dog. But something happens that sends Lisa running right back inside. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! A 
weird what pale the? something can be seen flying around Lisa before she freaks out and slaps it away. After reviewing the footage, Lisa believes she might have caught evidence of a fairy. Now, I'm certainly not saying that whatever this is, is a fairy, but it definitely looks very odd and no one seems to really know what this thing is. So it looks like a fairy that's been out all the night on the having drink. <laughs> I mean, what? At first, at first thought was that like, it's some sort of drone type thing and someone's playing a trick on it, but I don't know. So if you have any idea on what this weird little flying thing is, let me know down in the comments. Don't know. The woman. Can't and explain that one. It's three o'clock at night when truck driver Kim McGill is headed down the interstate in Markham, Illinois, when something happens that is any driver's worst nightmare. Oh, I've seen this one last week. That's just a person walking across the road, that, I'm telling you. Did you see it? Yeah, bizarre book. A woman wearing a long white dress can be seen crossing the highway dangerously close to the cars and trucks zooming right by her. That's a person. Almost as if she just doesn't care. I thought it was really, really weird. I, I It creeped me out. I had goosebumps for like an hour straight on my arms. It was really creepy. It was, it was scary. Now, whatever this mysterious highway figure is, it has Ken seriously freaked out. And the next day, the story gets much, yeah. much darker. Because you see, the next night at the exact same spot, around the exact same time, a vehicle swerves and has a tragic accident on the interstate, ending two lives. But again, we're still keeping a close eye on this crash on I-57. What's the latest? Indeed. Unfortunately, I have sad news to report about this crash here, Laura. Sorry to change gears on such a uh, beautiful and pleasant morning here. It's anything but on the lanes down there. Uh, this uh, terrible, mess, violent crash it? happened before 2 a.m. this morning. State police now reporting two people uh, this have is passed new footage in uh, the, this uh, incident here on northbound I-57 near 147, just outside of Posen and Dixmore. Wow. The drivers and passengers in the crash claimed that they saw a mysterious woman in a white dress walking on the road. They say they swerved to miss her and that caused the accident. Um, I had another driver reach out to me after I posted it on Facebook that he was going through there about 20 minutes before I did with another driver right behind him and they seen the same thing as I did. Today, at the same time as we went through there, there was a car accident, multiple cars. Um, two people ended up dying, two people went to the hospital. Well, the two people that went to the hospital gave a statement that they seen a white figure in the road and that's why the one car swerved into the other car. Weirdly, despite these eyewitness reports, cameras posted along the highway show no one walking in the road no. at that time. So did King capture an entity on his dash cam that caused a terrible car accident? You decide. I'm calling coincidence. I'm calling coincidence there. Cause where that car was was not under the bridge, was it? And he saw that, that that entity, if you like, was quite far under the bridge. So I don't know. The terrible car accident? You decide. I feel sorry for the people who died and stuff. Over 13 like years ago, YouTube Urban Explorers Smash TV Canada set out one night to explore the abandoned old McCormick factory in London, Ontario, Canada. Now the group is aware that the property is often inspected by security. So when they hear strange sounds from somewhere in the building, they immediately suspect that it could be security and they turn off their flashlights to avoid getting caught. But what happens next is downright chilling. Can you turn mine off then? Who's there? Hello? Hello? Watch the light Whoa! Hello? Hello? Who's there? Someone carried me. Anybody there? Oh, 
Hey, that looked good. Yeah. Someone or something can be seen walking into a room at the end of the hall, but the group doesn't see anything. After hearing bizarre noises throughout the building, the group eventually leaves to go home. They post their video to YouTube and many of their viewers immediately point out the eerie figure hiding in the darkness. Nice. But Jason and Chris say that they have no idea who or what this could be. And they Look say that the room to the left that the person can be seen walking into was just a dead end. So, who that was a or what that. is this? That was a toilet roll on the side. I mean, when you've got to go, you've got to go. <laughs> there was nothing too sinister in this one this time. Uh, nothing that made me jump anyway. They're the best ones, the ones that make you jump, jump scare ones. But I mean... A couple of interesting ones, should I say. A couple of interesting ones. But, I, I mean, a couple of them, like I say, we've seen them on Bizarre Bub before. But that doesn't matter because we'll still check out Nuke and we'll still check out Bizarre Bub. Anyway, what did you guys think of this reaction? Let me know in the comments. If you want to check out any more from Nuke's Top 5, there's a playlist right up there. Don't forget to subscribe. And I shall see you all in the next video.